Take Assassin's Creed, Inception, Matrix, Harry Potter, Batman Begins, and Alice in Wonderland, and you have this movie. Best synopsis ever. It's Reese TV! What up, Mewtwo? My name is Cherise. Welcome to Reese TV. Glad that you're here. So, Doctor Strange. It was a comic that was made in the 60s when it was cool to get high and everything was psychedelic. 56 years later when marijuana is being pushed to be legalized in all 50 states, it only makes sense that it becomes a movie. This movie's visuals were like, psh, I mean, whoa, man. <laughs> The visuals were fantastic, but it was definitely a callback to its 60s roots. Tilda Swinton was fantastic as the Ancient One. Even though the creators called her a Ancient One, she is definitely just referred to as the Ancient One. Now perhaps they plan on introducing more Ancient Ones in the future, but as for this movie, she is the one and only. But for all of you people who were so concerned about the Ancient One being whitewashed, there's a nice little message for you in the movie. It's definitely really quick, but definitely shots are fired. Moss Mickelson was great as K. Sidious. Shy Whittle, who I'm not even going to try to mention your last name, was great as Mondo. And that is actually up until a certain scene, which is actually just the second end credit scene. But I actually blame it on the editing because that end credit scene should have been the first end credit scene. Oh, and by the way, there are two end credit scenes. Rachel McAdams was good as Christine Palmer. And in danger of spoilers, I'm just going to say that everyone was good. Everyone was good except for Benedict Cumberbatch. And the thing is, it has nothing to do with his acting, has nothing to do with his appearance, but it has everything to do with his character development. They take no time in developing Doctor Strange as a character. His character is mainly explained through expose. Like during the movie, you hear that he is arrogant. You hear that he's egotistical. You hear that he is self-centered. You hear that he is materialistic. But outside of one scene, we really don't get to see that side of him. We don't get to wallow in that character that is Doctor Strange before the movie picks up in order to introduce the mystic arts. It was like, here's the movie, and here's the character development of Doctor Strange. It was like Marvel said, yes, you have already seen an egotistical, materialistic, arrogant bastard before, but I bet you haven't seen this shine. I mean, I just feel like outside of the Hulk, Iron Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Captain America, every other movie just feels like another pawn that's being moved in this big chess game that is called the MCU. It's like outside of the aforementioned movies, Marvel is not even trying to play to win. They are just moving pieces and buying time and cashing in when we go to see the movies. And that is just how I feel. I would love to hear your opinion on this. But all I have to say is, they better not do this to Black Panther.